A legal showdown is underway in San Jose tonight, pitting Google's popular Gmail service against privacy advocates. A federal judge is deciding whether people who have those free Gmail accounts have had their privacy violated. ABC 7 News business and technology reporter David Louie is live outside the federal courthouse in San Jose tonight. David, all this because Google scans email. That is correct, Ann. You know, Google does not hide the fact that it scans emails in order to target advertising based on what people write about. However, a lawsuit says that's illegal, while Google is trying to get this case thrown out of court. Critics compare Google to a vacuum cleaner, sucking up all the dirt or details it can about its users. Google admits it uses an automated process to scan every email sent or received by Gmail's 425 million users. It's spelled out, Google says, in the fine print of its privacy policy and its terms of service. A class action lawsuit aims to stop Gmail scanning, claiming it's an invasion of privacy. This is a terrible invasion of our privacy. Jamie Cord is president of Consumer Watchdog. We talked to him via Skype. This is all, all about uh, Google's business model of, of, of gathering as much data as it can about our appetites, our hungers, our desires, so that it can target us with it. Marketing. In federal court in San Jose, Google is trying to get the case dismissed. The hearing today had attorneys for the two sides debating the fine print, whether users know Google scans email so they can target advertising to them. But at least they should make it clear, like absolutely clear, like bold fine print under line 32 italicized that uh, they're going through my mail. Honestly, the internet is creepy and it invades your privacy, so I think everybody's just used to it by now. The case could be pivotal for future Google services. Privacy issues have already surfaced about its Google Glasses, which take video, and its self-driving cars. Technology that will give Google and its advertisers even more details about users, their interests, and their preferences, including where they like to eat. Google's attorneys declined an interview, saying they have no comment. At the U.S. District Courthouse in San Jose, David Louie, ABC 7 News.